Hi, welcome to Pictures, Notes and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Fate Gear, um, an all-female steampunk power metal band. And yes, I did say all of those words in one sentence. Um, so you have to look, don't you? <laughs> you know, you just, I need to look. So I don't, this is one of those, I'm not sure how I ended up doing this particular song. This is a song called Headless Goddess, which is clearly the title track from this EP, Headless Goddess. And you can actually get this on Amazon in the UK. Um, you can get it digitally for like six pounds, or you can get the CD for the price of one kidney, um, like most Japanese CDs. Um, so yeah, if this turns out to be your thing, depends on how many spare kidneys you've got, whether you want the CD or you want it digitally. So I'm not sure how I ended up doing this particular song because these guys have newer songs at these guys, an all-female front, never mind, an all-female metal band, these guys. Um, <laughs> these lovely ladies um, have newer stuff out. So how I ended up with this particular song in my bookmarks, I'm not sure. I'm wondering whether Just Panda left it with me. And I'm not blaming Just Panda if this turns out to be no good because I haven't watched it. Um, because I'm not sure. I'm really not sure where I got, why I'm doing this particular song. It was in my bookmarks. So here we are. I don't know anything about them. They're from Japan. It's an all-female power metal band with steampunk overtones. That's it. That's all I've got. I remember, actually, there was a... I'm pretty sure there was a poster advertising them uh, in the Camden Underworld when I saw Ninganisu back in February. So they've clearly been over to the UK. Um, and that's all I know. Did I mention I've seen Ninganisu live? Did I mention that? I'm not sure if I brought it up. Um, I saw Ninganisu live. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Calm down. Right, so. Yeah, fake gear. Headless Goddess, from this EP, Headless Goddess, came out 2019. They have got a load of new stuff coming out, or just out, um, and this isn't it. See, we've got our finger on the pulse here, you know. Without further ado, because that's enough ado already, let's go on with it. I'm not sure what we're getting, but I could probably make a pretty good guess.
Well, I may not hand over a kidney for the CD, but I'll probably hand over the six pound something, seven pounds for the for the digital version. I got a lot more than I expected then. When it first started, I went, oh, OK. Um, and then in a very, very, very short amount of time, I was like, OK, then I'm on board. Um, yet another kind of blistering power metal band from Japan. Where, what's going on? <laughs> Where do they keep digging these people up from? I have no idea how long Fate Gear have been around, um, but good grief. That flew along, didn't it? And it was, it was heavier. It was more metal than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be fairly lightweight. And it was not at all, was it? They had two singers, which is another thing that I, that I, I, I told you I hadn't watched this and I don't know anything about them. So you kind of have preconceptions. You've got all these like things lined up in your head. All oh, right, it's going to be like this, it's going to be like this, it's going to be like this. And I was, I was wrong, pretty much. Um, I mean, all of the steampunk trappings, who cares? It's, it's, it's just an image to tie your band together, isn't it? The one thing, actually, that I did notice, you see the cog-shaped symbol that the the drummer had I would kept my I kept my eye on it she never hit it um, because you wouldn't as a drummer you would probably rather chew your arm off than have a symbol like that um, I imagine it sounds like a bin lid um, but it looks good and that's what's important <laughs> um, but yeah wow no <laughs> um, but yeah the whole thing's an image isn't it here we are we are fake ge gear uh, you know and uh, We've decided to go down the steampunk route, but pff, throw all that away. This is one of those bands that almost is going to sound, come across better if you shut your eyes um, because you're not distracted by all of the shininess, um, etc. Et you just listen to what they're playing and you think, oh, this is proper. You know, <laughs> this, 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 this is proper metal. This is proper power metal. I know people don't like power metal. This isn't going to change your mind. And some people don't like the Japanese uh, voice that, that tend to have this vibrato and blah, 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 blah. I get that. This isn't going to change your mind. So what? This isn't for you. Listen to something else. Um, but if you like this sort of thing, if the, if the Japanese sound is something that you like, well, these guys have nailed it, haven't they? Guys. I keep calling them guys. It's just a f term. You realise this, don't you? Um, these ladies... No. These, they, they, these folks have really nailed it. And uh, I'm really impressed. <laughs> That's where it comes down to the end. I'm really impressed. Uh, I, th I, th I think just Panda and I should have should have covered these guys. Guys. Sorry, I always say guys. It's just one of those things I say. Um, yeah, with that tongue-tied ending, I will end. But what great fun and what really well done. And yet another, like I said, another Japanese band that comes and shows everyone how to do it. Come on, Western world. Nah, I'm just kidding. There's lots of bands all over the world doing great stuff. Okay, so it's not like the Japanese are doing it better or anything like that, but this is a really good example of Japanese power metal. There you go. That's my final word, apart from this one. Goodbye.